think absolutely. We already run some in-store specials like that. Uh, we've got a new uh, app that is specific to quality marks that, that helps promote loyalty as well as some deals. And so, yeah, this would absolutely be just another avenue to kind of help deliver that maximum value to the customer uh, and, and how they can uh, how they can use Quality Mart as their one-stop shop. Just one, one other tool out of the toolbox to make things as convenient as possible uh, for the customer. So that's what I think the ultimate selling point is, is uh, to my knowledge, there's not a lot of apps where you can either show up on the, at the store while you're pumping gas and have somebody have it ready for you at the counter, or I can use that exact same app to have it brought to my house and I think eventually, you know, we're dreaming uh, Swipe By has a, a curbside application and a lot of their other customers, we'd love to do that. That has some staffing challenges that we're, we would need to overcome, but that's just another way that we're just going to try and make it easier and easier, uh, more and more convenient for the customer. We, I'll put it to you this way, we think the, the inside sales are really the, the future of the business. That's the opportunity to innovate. That's where we've got a ton of our focus. Uh, and obviously, you know, uh, there, there's all kinds of uh, question marks around the future of petroleum and everything, but we think there'll always be a high call for convenience, uh, one-stop shopping. And, and so that's where we're focused. I think, uh, well, do you wanna to speak to adoption rates and, and market saturation just on the Swipe By app, Carl? Yeah. I mean, I think it's, you know, obviously what our goal here is, is to open up a new, with technology, open up a new segment, right, for a new customer segment, basically, um, for, for Quality Mart. And um, I mean, again, not throw any numbers out, but obviously that it's substantial, right? I think a measure of success here for us is, is that our technology has been adopted um, pretty substantially. If we look, though, at, um, again, at, you know, some other verticals, I mean, you know, normal rates for off-premise ordering and so on can be up to... 20 to 30 percent of business right like that is like what what can be achieved with um if you have a, a an on-premise location like not a ghost location but a location where you actually deal with customers um which how much of off-premise business that location could generate and that could be obviously you know be a goal and target here um but i think it's also you know it's it's this it's this hand-in-hand -hand approach right the idea is is can you can you with by being more in your customer's mind, right? And again, Quality Mart has done a great job. They have, a, again, an app for loyalty. They have coupons. They have promotions. They have gas. They have convenience. They have an amazing footprint. Um, but now, you know, we, we try to be in the mind of the customer one more time, right? And that is when they are, for example, at home and want delivery or when they are really, you know, are debating, do I get the um, go in the McDonald's drive through for my Diet Coke and some um, fries? Or do I now just do a quick pickup to um, um, order a head order at Quality Mart for my Diet Coke, right? And um, maybe not fries, but a bag of chips. And I think by capturing that mind share of the customer, right? That's what we're going. We hopefully not only increase off-premise to, again, any of those percentage numbers I mentioned, but also, you know, hopefully bring in more in-store visit, right? By being just more on mind, this is my one stop for convenience, right? That's really is the, is the goal. Yeah, 